In this video, I'll show you the progress I've made on the top SQL, the data source I'm calling top SQL here. And first I'm going to show you where I downloaded and found the stored procedure called SP for stored procedure, who is active. That tells you who is most active on the database and is causing the slowest queries uh, by username. Also, uh, next step would be showing you the PowerShell script uh, that runs this um, stored procedure and then writes it to the event log. And then I'm going to test it by using a looping uh, query on a test database from two different users, Bob and Admin Mike, so we can see the load and see the log entry. And then remaining steps are adding logic to the script so it has a specified threshold. In other words, it'll only write to the log if it, the queries are taking longer than a certain time period you specify or whatever load you want to specify there. And then, of course, do more testing with Logic Monitor. So first of all, I did some research and found out about this um, who is active stored procedure and watched this video, etc. Then I went to uh, the person who wrote it, uh, Adam, and uh, it's very popular in, in uh, SQL performance tuning. And now I will show you in our test environment, uh, we ha I have two uh, servers here and let me uh, minimize these screens here. So first I'm running uh, this query on this test database that Microsoft provides, AdventureWorks, and the username is Bob here. So it's running 8,000 times just in a circle. And then uh, I have another server here that uh, also is doing the same thing. Now it's running as admin mic. Here's the uh, PowerShell script and you can see I've specified the connection string with the server name and so on and then the uh, stored procedure. So that's actually kicking off the stored procedure. I'm going to run this uh, stored procedure and here's an example output um, from the stored procedure which uh, shows you that uh, Bob is um, hogging the database and you can see the CPU cycles he's consuming and the reads and the writes and so on. So these are the top users, you know, sorted by the top users. And similarly, Admin Mike is uh, also using uh, a top user there. So it's showing two different users. And then if I go to the event logs, and I can see here that my PowerShell script has written to the event log. And if I double click on this event, I can see the body or the message within the event shows that same output that was on the screen, meaning here's the uh, username, Admin Mike, and then there's Bob, and this would alert you within Logic Monitor because Logic Monitor automatically grabs the uh, system event log, or and you can set it to do the application log as I've done here. That's it. Thanks for watching.